So recently I have posted a video about all of the upgrades that I have done to my BRP Canon Spider F3S. The upgrades are worth roughly around $10,000 and you can see it in the link on the top, should be somewhere over there. I have received some questions towards the saddlebags uh, on my Instagram or Facebook account, like what is my experience with them? And because I'm riding the Spider for, this is my fourth season, I have experienced also the the previous, the, I think they are called country saddlebags. This is the picture of them. So in this video, I'll tell you what is my experience with them, why I'm not riding with them anymore. And I'll tell you why I'm using these shed saddlebags sold originally by BRP. One very important comment, I'm not an ambassador or I'm not paid by BRP or importer of the BRP or shed products. This is my pure experience and I will tell you pros and cons. First, I will start with the country saddlebags. Um, I have purchased them because there was no other option i mean like original option from from brp they were the only saddlebags you can put on a canon spider f3s three or four years ago this is actually the very first f3s in the central eastern europe i have to mention it uh, and i'm so proud of it definitely the benefit is that in case you are that type of rider as i am uh, where i don't need the saddlebags if i go to the city or short trips I do not carry them with me. With the cross-country saddlebags, there is one very big benefit towards these or against these shed saddlebags. Those country saddlebags, they are, they are really holding on these two bolts uh, on the passenger rail. And there is one more kind of a plastic hook right over here. And I'll show you how the shed saddlebags look like when they are not on the bike in a minute. You will see the rail there, you will see the construction. So this is one very big advantage in a cross-country saddlebags that if you unmount them, you can really barely see that somebody is having some kind of bags on the bike. Why I'm not riding with them, there are a few good reasons. The look, they are more like a leather saddlebags. Uh, it's a fake leather or whatever. And there is a chrome part, at least at that moment, it was the only option that I could buy it with. The bike is more like plastic, it's sporty bike. So I like these shed plastic saddlebags more. Second thing, you can place the items much more easily because as far as I remember, uh, the cross country, you were able to open them only like only two thirds of the side, which the shed saddlebags can, can be fully open from one side, so you can place the items uh, much easier. Last not least, um, probably it was because it was really one of the first bags that came from the manufacturing. Uh, I had several serious issues with them. First was that uh, they've been constantly leaking. I mean, I was riding in a, in a wet weather and I can see a lot of water inside, which is a big no-no as when you are a rider. The second thing was they've been keep opening. I mean, I have lost several items. I have it documented. But on the other side, I have to say that uh, I don't know if it was BRP. I don't know if it was really only an importer, but they gave me uh value in a lost items bag so i could buy uh, accessories uh, i was able to replace even though i was using it for two years the cross-country saddlebags i was able to replace them uh, with a full uh, refund uh, for these new ones so yeah i have to be honest and this was what was happening so great customer care for me if i will start really comparing them and i'll tell you a little bit about these uh, maybe I will start with, with one additional thing where my personal opinion is that the shed are much more They make much more sense because cross-country saddlebags I think they, they are selling something roughly around one thousand dollars one thousand one hundred nine hundred dollars something like that at least two years ago well with shed it's for six hundred first of all for me they look better they are bigger so you can fit more items in it. Uh, they open on one side, like fully open. Yeah, this is a standard shed bed. Hopefully you can see it. Look, I'm a tall dude. Um, all the things are big on me. So, and I can really normally fit for a one week trip. Uh, plus I can put drone and all the other cameras to my, to my bike. Nice thing is, you can of course hook the bags inside so they do not fall off when when you have a bag in there uh, you have two side pockets for i don't know cosmetics and, and stuff like that and uh, the quality is pretty nice and pretty good there was a nice nice story on the spider lovers facebook page uh, one girl pointed that uh, there is actually a sign which i haven't seen really for two years that i'm riding with them 
and it says only 15 pounds or 8.8 .8 kilograms and only 120 kilogram uh, only 120 kilometers an hour well i can tell you guys i don't know how much i'm i'm putting in them but i'm putting sometimes batteries for drone shoes t-shirts underwear and it's really like fully packed plus sometimes i put there something additional like a medical kit and stuff or first aid kit and i think it's pretty sometimes pretty more than 10 kilograms or something around and still there there was no problem whatsoever well actually i have to point more towards the speed because I'm a crazy dude and you can see it on my few of the rides that I'm doing. I'm riding with, with those bags fully loaded, 190 kil kilometers an hour up to 200, never face a problem. Of course you have a, a key, uh, you can uh, lock them. So every item that is in there you cannot open neither the, the part of the where you have the items, neither you ca cannot really remove them from from the bike so they cannot be stolen uh, when you remove them you need to open them then they unclick and basically this is how you can carry them around i mean you really don't need to have bags inside you can use the plastic bags and you can look like a tight ass or really you can buy those inner inner bags and this is actually how the bike look like now you can see it around uh, I got used to it. I don't like the rail. Uh, I got used to it, but uh, yeah, still the cross-country saddlebags. If you like the more the bike with a cleaner look, and you, you are able to sacrifice few good items of these sheds, uh, then is your of course your call. Mounting back very super easy. Just like this. There you go. Maybe a few additional comments. They're a little bit on a on a side. So the cross-country solo bags may are more like, of course, they're I think they are smaller, really. My personal opinion is they are smaller. I don't know in in liters or kilograms how much smaller they are. But from my personal point of view, I can fit much more in here. They are a little bit more on the side, so the bike is a little bit wider. That's also quite important to say, but it's not wider than your front uh, front wheels uh maybe one thing that i'm do commenting uh it's already an upgrade the shed saddlebags has better key than the cross country at least what was two years ago i don't know if they fix it but i was complaining a lot because the key from the cross country was the same as i have this on a on a monocyte cow and it's like a really like seven cent worth of key in there i don't know why uh brp don't give us an opportunity to switch i know it's off, it's not really aftermarket but it's um external supplier of those bags and they don't want to give him an option to play with the with the original key from KM. i understand that but still i mean there should be something like an option maybe it is there maybe you can comment on me that i'm wrong but it would be super comfy if i can open the bag with the same key as it is on the rt models uh, but uh, it's not really happening so i need to carry an additional two keys which is you know sometimes the pain in the ass overall i'm super happy it's a good price it looks good looks good when it is on the bike and the bike looks good when it is not there uh, this was martin the vlogger if you like what you see just follow me subscribe comment complain do whatever you like there is a link to my instagram profile where i'm really active so in case you have any question instagram or facebook is the best place to to ask thanks for watching and remember always have fun